Hello students. In this video, we'll be looking at a very important aspect of linear functions, and that's called the gradient. Now, in general, with linear functions, there's really only two things that are important, or really important. One is, where does it start? And by that, we mean, what's its value when x equals 0? So there's the point just there, x is 0, and the value of this function is negative 4. That is called the y-intercept of the function. That's where it uh, intercepts the y-axis. And the other thing that's important about the function, once you know where it starts, is how steep is it? Now, there's a couple of ways of measuring steepness. You could, for example, find its angle compared to the x-axis, but we're going to use what's called the gradient, which is the standard way of measuring steepness. And what it comes down to, here's the formula for it. The letter we use for gradient is the letter M, and the formula is, in words, rise over run. And what that means is the following. Pick any two points on the graph, so I'll choose those two, and the rise is how much the graph goes up to get from there to there, and the run is how much you go horizontally to get from that point to that point. So what I'm going to do is choose the straight line tool. I hope I've ch chosen the straight line tool. Maybe I haven't. So let me try again. Let's see if that works. So I'm going to draw a right angle triangle in here. Yep, that's what I want to do there and there. So the rise is just the vertical distance from this point to this point. So that's the rise and the run is the horizontal distance. So that's the run. And all we have to do is count the number of squares. So the rise in this case is one, two, three, four. So m equals 4, and the run is 2. So it turns out that the gradient of this line here is 2. Now, if I'd chosen a different point, say I chose that as my second point, well, once again, we can draw the triangle for that particular point like so and for this one the rise is one two three four five six seven eight so the rise is eight and the run is one two three four and it turns out no matter which two points we choose on the line the gradient is two in fact you could have just chosen we could have just chosen that point and that point, and the rise is going to be two units. The run is one unit, so we're talking about this little triangle in there. Rise is two, run is one, and that's also two. So. The important thing to learn from this slide is um, the gradient of a linear function is a measure of its steepness. And the way we measure the steepness is pick two points on the graph and work out um, the rise, how high we have to go, or how, how much we move up from one point to the next, and how much we move across, like so. OK, let's have a look at the next slide. OK, here we have. A graph that's going in that direction. Once again, I'm going to pick two points. Doesn't matter where I put them, so I'll put one there and one there. By the way, it's probably a good idea not to choose points that don't lie on the corners of the grid. It's just a bit hard to work out the distance. So pick out points that lie on the corner of the grid. And once again, we're going to have to draw the triangle like so. This is the rise, this is the run. So using the same formula, 
Well, the rise in this case is not 3, but negative 3. So direction makes a difference. To get from that point to that point, we have to go down 3. And then we move to the, to the right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that's in a positive direction. So horizontally, that's positive, And that direction is negative. And negative 3 over 6 is negative 1 half. Again, we could have chosen two other points on the line, any two points, and would have found the same gradient. So this particular gradient, the most important thing to learn from this slide is when the graph goes down, as you go from left to right, the gradient is negative. And I can drag this out of the way. So lines that go downward from left to right have a negative gradient and lines that go upward from left to right like on the previous slide have a positive gradient. Okay let's have a look at the next slide. Okay here we have four lines and what we want to do is find the gradient given the line. So it's pretty much a matter of pick two points on the line. I get don't pick points that uh, don't go through the corners of the grid. So I can choose that point and that point. I think the line's not perfect, but it's uh, close enough. Draw in the triangle. And we get a rise of 1, 2, 3, 4. We get a run of 1, 2, 3. So the gradient of that line is 4 thirds. OK, this one over here. Draw the triangle like so. The rise to get from that point to that point is negative 2 because we're going down. And from there to there is a positive direction, positive 1, 2, 3, 4. So the gradient is 2 on 4 simplifies to 1 half. So negative 1 half. By the way, if I'd gone from that point to that point, I would have got the same answer. Here, my rise would be positive 2. But my run to get from that point to that point would be negative 4. And positive divided by a negative is still a negative. 2 divided by 4 simplifies to 1 half. So it doesn't matter whether you go from that point down to that point or that point back to that one. Because the graph's going down, we know we have a negative gradient. OK, stop the video and work out the gradient of the other two lines, please. OK, welcome back. Let's pick a couple of points. Probably those two are the, are the choice for this one. Draw the triangle. Now, I know straight away that the gradient of this line is negative because it's going down from left to right. To get from that point to that point, the rise is negative 2, the run is 1, so negative 2 over 1, and that just simplifies to negative 2. And the last one in this video, I'll pick those two points, complete the triangle. The rise in this triangle is positive 2 because we're going up. And the run is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the gradient of that line is 2 fifths. OK, we'll stop there and uh, continue with our study of gradient in the next video.